Hi, this is Ramachandran from OnlineMathForAll.com. In our website OnlineMathForAll.com, students can find video tutorials like this, which would be much useful for them to prepare for competitive exams like GMAT, GRE, CAT, bank preparation, I mean bank exam preparation, SAT and more. Okay, this video is about uh, solving problems on sequence and series. So we have a problem on the board. So that is, find the sum of all numbers between 100 and 1000 which are divisible by 14. So for uh, students, please try to understand the question carefully. We have to find the sum of all numbers between 100 and 1000. The important condition is all the numbers between 100 and 1000 must be divisible by 14. Okay, to solve this problem, so what we have to do is, first we have to find the numbers between 100 and 1000 which are divisible, divisible by 14. And then we have to add all those numbers, then we will get the sum. Okay, I will show you how to, do, how to solve this one. So, uh, one second. So, my first aim is to get all the numbers between 100 and 1000 uh, which are divisible by 14. So okay, now I am just going to get the first number uh, between 100 and 1000 which is divisible by 14. So to find the first number uh, which is divisible by 14 between 100 and 1000 what I am going to do is I am going to divide the first number 100 by 14. One second. So now I, I divide 100 by 14. So when I divide 100 by 14, uh, I get um, 7 times because 7 times 14 is 98. I get the remainder 2. Okay, so I divided 100. I get the equation 7. The divider is 100 and uh, the remainder is 2. So from this, how can we get the first number between 100 and 1000 which is divisible by 14? That is our next question. It's very simple. So now what we have to do is, we have to subtract the remainder 2 from the divider, 14. So when you subtract 2 from 14, we will get the answer 12. So now the next step what we have to do is, we have to add this 12 to this 100. Students, uh, please listen to me carefully, I will tell you again. So now I am trying to get the first number between 100 and 1000 which is divisible by 14. So for that what I am going to do is, uh, I just divide 100 by 14. When I do so, I get the remainder 2. So the first step what I do is, I just uh, subtract this remainder 2 from the divider of 14. I get 12. Then I add this 12 to 100. So I will get 112. So add and 12 is the first number which is divisible by 14 between 100 and 1000. So, and uh, how can we get the second number? I mean, uh, after add and 12, so which number will be divisible by 14? It's very simple. So, because uh, for to find the second number which is divisible by 14, so we don't have to do uh, division like this, what I have done so far. So, it's very simple to find the next number which is divisible by 14. We just have to add 14 to 112. When we add 14 to 112, I'll get 126. So, this is the second number which is divisible by 14 between 100 and 1000. And the third number is again, it is very simple, we just have to add 14 to the second number. So, we will get 140. In this way, we will be getting numbers which are divisible by 14 between 100 and 1000. So, the first number between, between 100 and 1000 which is divisible by 14 is 112. So, to find the second number, we just have to add 14 to the first number 112. And to get the third number, we have to add 14 to the second number 126. In this way, we are getting. And now, my aim is to get the last number between 100 and 1000, which is divisible by 14. To find the last number which is divisible by 14, I have to divide 1000 by 14. So, when I divide 1000 by 14, I just take the first three digits 100. In 100, we have 7 times. 7 times 14 will be 98. When I subtract 98 from 100, I will get the remainder 2. So, now I just take this 0 down. So, I will get 20. So, two ta 1 times 14 will be 14. The remainder is 6. So, now we got the remainder. Okay, now uh, my aim is to get the last number which is divisible by 14 between 100 and 1000. For that, what I am going to do is, 
I'm just going to subtract the remainder 6 from this 1000. So when I divide, uh, I'm sorry, when I subtract 6 from 1000, I'll get 994. So 994 is the last number which is divisible by 14 between 100 and 1000. I hope the students uh, will be able to understand how to get the numbers between 100 and 1000 which are divisible by 14. So we have to do uh, two, two divisions. One is to find the first number which is divisible by 14 and the last number which is divisible by 14. To find the first number which is divisible by 14, we have to take the first number, first given number that is 100 and it has to be divided by 14. Then we will get some, some remainder. The remainder has to be subtracted from the divider and the result has to be added to 100. I mean the first number which is given. So we get 112. That's the first number. So to get the second number, it's very simple. We just have to add 14 to 112. In this way, uh, we can add 14 to the get the third number. Uh, it will keep going. So to find the last number which is divisible by 14, again we have to do the division thing. That is, uh, we have to divide the last number given in the problem 1000 by 14. I get the remainder 46. So this 6 has to be subtracted from 1000. So the process what we did to find the first number, the process what we did uh, to find the last number, it's a bit different. Because to find the first number, we subtract the remainder from, uh, remainder from the divider, then we, we had the result to the dividend. But to find the last number, we don't subtract the remainder from the divider. We subtract the remainder di directly from the dividend. So that is the last number which is divisible by 14. So this is how we have to get the first number and last number. So now we got all the numbers between 100 and 1000 which are divisible by 14. Now what we have to do is we have to find sum. So to find sum it's very simple. We have to add all these numbers. Okay students, so to find sum of all these numbers uh, we have two methods. One is uh, the given series is clearly an arithmetic series because each number is added by 14. I mean the common difference is 14. Otherwise, uh, what we can do is we can factor 14 from all these numbers because for example, the first number is a multiple of 14. It can be written as 8 times 14. The second number also is a multiple of 14 that is 9 times 14. And third one also is a multiple of 14 that is 10 times 14. If we keep going like this, the last number is 71 times 14 because if you divide 994 by 14 you'll get the question 71 so in this way we get uh, so here 14 14 14 so the common number we find so we factor 14 when we do so we get 8 positive 9 positive 10 positive positive 71 okay uh, I'll show you the next step on the next page So we have 14 times 8 positive, 9 positive, 10 positive, then positive 71. So clearly it's natural numbers. One second, sorry, 71. So clearly it's natural numbers. So they are all natural numbers, but uh, these natural numbers start from 8. Okay, we have, uh, we have a formula that is n into n plus 1 by 2. This is a formula we have to find the sum of uh, first year natural numbers. But uh, the important condition to use this formula is uh, the series must start from 1. But here in our problem, the series start from 8. Okay, we have an idea for that. I will show you here. Since we have a uh, formula to use uh, to find the sum of first year natural numbers and uh, the series must start from 1, I am going to write the given series from 1. That is 1 positive. 2 positive, 3 positive, up to 71. So, instead of finding sum from 8 to 71, I am just trying to find the sum from 1 to 71. So, here I have done a mistake because my aim is to get the sum from 8 to 71. But here I am trying to find sum from 1 to 71. I have uh, some extra sum. So, from 1 to 7. So, that has to be subtracted from this one. Because uh, I need sum from 8 to 71, but here I find sum from 1 to 71 because uh, formula for uh, the series will start from 1. That is the reason I write the sum from 1 to 71, but that's not the 
correct problem uh, i mean that's not the correct sum that we have to find in our problem actually we need sum from 8 to 71 but i find from 1 to 71 so the extra sum from 1 to 7 i subtracted so when we subtract this extra sum from 1 to 71 i'll be getting the sum from 8 to 71 here n is equal to 71 because the last number and here n is equal to 7 so the formula for this one is n into n plus 1 by 2 because this is a formula we have to find the sum of first and natural numbers so in this formula I am going to plug 71 for the first one and 7 for the second one so 14 times uh, 71 times 71 plus 1 by 2 minus 7 into 7 plus 1 by 2 ok I will show you the next step on the next page Okay, at first I divide the board uh, into two parts. Okay, now uh, we are trying to get the sum. That is sum is equal to 71 times 72 over 2. I am sorry, I have to multiply everything by 14. 71 times 72 by 2, negative um, 7 into 8 by 2. So, if I cancel this, we get 36. Here, if I cancel 2 and 8, I get 4. So, 14 times. Uh, so, the value of 71 times 36 uh, is 2556. And the value of 7 times 4 is 28. So, 2556 minus 28 will be 2528 and uh, when we multiply 14 times 2 5 2 8 so we'll get the sum uh, 3 5 3 9 2 because uh, when we are trying to multiply 71 times 36 uh, 6 times 1 6 6 are 40 42 and 3 times 1 will be 3 3, in three times 1 will be 21 so 6 5 2 5 5 6 and 7 times 4 is 28 I subtract 28 from 2556. Uh, if you subtract 8 from 16, it will be 8. If you subtract 2 from 2, 2 from 4, uh, it will be 2. So, 5, 2, 5, 2, 8. In this way, we get this 2, 5, 2, 8. And uh, I'm going to multiply this 2, 5, 2, 8 by 14. So, I just multiply these two. When I do so, 4 times 8 will be 32, remainder 3. 4 times 2, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, remainder 1. 4 5 is 20, 4 5 is 20 plus 1, 21, remainder 2. 4 2 is 8, uh, 8 plus 2, 10. And 1 times 8, 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 5 will be 5, 1 times 2. So, 2, 9, 3, 5, 3. So, in this way, we get the answer 3, 5, 3, 9, 2. So, the sum of all numbers between 100, 100 and 1000 which are divisible by 14 is 35392. So, this is the answer. I hope students will be able to understand and uh, students will be able to do this kind of problems and competitive exams and other exams. Okay, students, uh, for more videos like this, please visit www.onlinemathforall.com. Thank you.